Hi, this is Mike Spink from MyCRM. Welcome to this short demonstration where I'll be creating a lead and going through a qualification process. These videos are made available free, so please ensure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for further videos and helpful information. Moving on, we're in Dynamics 365. We're looking at a dashboard and I'm going to create a new lead. Let's assume that we're doing this manually. We could, of course, have the system set to create leads for us. So here is a standard lead form. One of the things that is important to capture in any sales operation is lead source. From a marketing perspective, this is probably very important and Microsoft give you a whole range of things to choose from and this list can be extended. This lead came from a trade show and we class this as hot and it's new. We're just gonna call this Mike's test lead. The name of this person is Joe. The surname is Blogs. click done. Joe is the sales director. Uh, we don't know his business phone number. He has a mobile number and he works for Replicon. We don't have any more information than that and we save the record and Dynamics will create the lead and in the auto posting area, we'll say that I created the lead today at this time. You'll see that the topic has been completely reformatted. This is using an auto rule using one of our enhancements for Dynamics 365. Please look at another video to understand how that works. Now we'll assume that we will be interacting with Joe and the first thing I'm going to do is give Joe a ring. So first call to Joe and I would get through to Joe and make some notes in here. So this is a very hot lead etc. I click OK and that will record that call. I could of course go and make some further notes in here. I could attach information. Uh, I could do a global post so I could say so everybody understands that this is a hot lead and there I am. The other things that are important at the lead qualification stage is to gather information. The qualifying information that we're looking at here is the standard Microsoft out of the box. So is this an existing contact? Uh, yes or no. Uh, is this an existing contact, an account? If so, you could look up purchasing time frame this quarter, estimated budget. If you've asked the question, we'll say it's 10,000. It's Joe's decision. So it's, a, it's an individual decision making process. Um, he is the decision maker and we could capture a summary of requirements. So summary is and make that all very visible. At this moment in time, it's, it still remains a lead. We could identify that there is a competitive company involved um, and some of the other information that we might wanna capture down here, um, industry sector, revenue, number of employees, source campaign, if it came from a source campaign. So this one came from the test campaign. And then we've got the email preferences. It's very important from a GDPR perspective that you mark this information in line with the lead contacts preferences. We'll get to a point where we interact further with Joe to the point where we think that it is either qualifying or disqualifying. So if we think that this is going nowhere, we could close this down either as cancelled no longer interested, cannot contact, or we lost it to somebody else before we even turn to an opportunity. In this particular case, actually what we're going to do is we're going to qualify it. This turns the lead record into read-only record and the opportunity takes place of the lead. And you can see now it's brought Joe in as the stakeholder. Uh, it's pulled through the information that was there before telling us that the opportunity is being created and nothing else changes apart from the fact that it's encouraging us now to move on through a sales process through to the develop stage which has been active for one minute so do we know fully what the customer need is well in this example we do but it's very short do we know what our proposed solution is yes we do yes we do know that the stakeholders have been identified we have identified some competitors um, but what we also want to do is we want to add somebody into the mix of the sales team. So Daisy 
is actually going to work with me on this and at this moment in time we're not going to worry too much about product lines and things like that because that's moving through the opportunity process what we might want to do however is give it a close date so we think it's going to be this sort of around the end of november and we want to show that budget of ten thousand, and the record gets saved and we can move on to the next stage which is the proposed stage so you'll see the flag move from here to here now this is the point where we'll probably mark that as we've, we've done the sales team um, but we'll we'll be working on a proposal and uh, in one of the next videos we'll be talking about products and price lists and things like that um, but effectively that's it it's that easy with leads if we go back and we look at some existing leads let's just pull up one here that was done before so clearly um, there is a long way to go in terms of the qualification of this lead. It's, um, it's been going a very long time, 41 days, 22 hours, but actually nothing's been done. So this needs to be disqualified or qualified as a matter of urgency. Anyway, that's it. That's as simple as it is to create a lead and qualify it through to opportunity or disqualify it. So thank you for watching. For any help with Dynamics 365, please give us a call uh, or reach out to us on social media or drop us an email. Please do take time to watch any other videos on our training channel on YouTube. Just subscribe for further content. Thank you.